Halloween is quickly approaching, and you know what that means, it's time to get your costume game on. Now, Halloween celebrations date back to 1745, first emerging from the Scottish term for All Hallows Eve, with the custom of costumes being influenced by the folk beliefs of Celtic speaking countries. The holiday as we know it in modern times was influenced by Christian dogma and the practices derived from it, with the spread to the mainstream in North America occurring sometime in the 19th century, after mass Irish and Scottish immigration occurred. By the time the 20th century rolled around, the concept of guising had become more popular, which was wearing a costume as part of the Scottish Halloween customs, with it first emerging in Kingston, Ontario in Canada around 1911. Now with that much history, you bet your bottom dollar that there's some seriously scary costumes that existed back in those days, which have been made all the more creepier thanks to aging photographs. So today we're looking into the past and counting down the top 5 vintage Halloween costumes that will give you nightmares. Now for context, most of the images on our list we weren't able to find a whole lot of context on outside of the photographs themselves, so parts of this list may be a tad vapid. But yeah, you know, just heads up. Still spooky. Let's get into it. And number five, the children. Starting us off is this utterly unsettling photo of two children wearing masks. It's a simple costume, one that you'll find many similar variations of if you look through old children's Halloween costumes. But it's a very effective one. Wearing their regular plain clothes along with these disturbing looking masks, these kids are sure to give any unsuspecting individual quite the spook. Halloween masks were one of the earliest forms of guising. In 19th century Scotland, children would go from house to house wearing masks or having their faces painted, lightheartedly threatening to do mischief if they were not welcome. In the early 1900s, costumes were often made at home, and it wasn't until the 30s that masks and costumes were mass produced, often designed to imitate ghoulish supernatural beings the likes of monsters, zombies, ghosts, vampires, skeletons, goblins, trolls, and witches. And I guess werewolves too. Moving on to number four, Nightmare Unicorn. Nothing screams horrifying like taking something that is normally magical and potentially cuddly and turning it into a warped, disturbing version of itself. To be fair, this father, we can assume, probably didn't intend on his unicorn mask to look as horrific as it did. At the time, many people probably thought it was crazy realistic. But in an era where you can go buy a horse head mask at your nearest hot topic, this humanoid looking unicorn face feels a little too unnatural for our liking. At least the kid in his arms seems to be enjoying it. Or maybe this photograph was preceded by a whole lot of crying. I mean, I, I'd cry. Talk about nightmare fuel. Moving on to number three, I see you. Part of me adores this costume. Well, part of me, like, absolutely shivers from it. Magic realism at its finest. From eyelashes to veins to grossly realistic skin, these two giant eyeball men are a sight to be seen. The all black suits with the white ties are a nice touch as well. This costume arguably appears to be more recent than the others on our list. In more recent years, or rather the latter half of the 20th century onwards, many Halloween costumes evolved out of the typical horror figures of ghouls, ghosts, and creatures, and ventured into more science fiction territory, as well as pop culture icons. The eyeball head costume was something of a trend for a while. And fun fact, one recently appeared in the DC Suicide Squad movie. The eyeball thug. Marvel even has its own eyeball man known as Orb, who's a mercenary in the comics. That being said, we're more of a fan of this vintage take on the eyeball man, with lashes and lids included. Moving on to two creatures of the night. Anteater or elephant shrew. Regardless of exactly what these creatures of the night are, they're creepy as hell. Imagine walking down the street and seeing this fella and his lady. And their sad, soulless eyes staring right at you. Yeah, wouldn't be the most pleasant of experiences, would it? While the masks themselves probably made for quite the hoot amongst their friends, in this photograph, and with that pose, their costumes are rather chilling. And not something we find ourselves wanting to look at for very long. Creepy stuff. And finally, in at number one, Pigtail Girl. Here we have one of the eeriest photographs of a vintage costume. This Pigtail Girl. Thing is, She's a grown woman, but wearing her hair in messy swooping braids while holding onto a child's doll and a teddy bear. But really, the scariest part of this costume isn't the outfit or the props, or the fact that she's a grown woman, or potentially a grown man, since cross dressing was actually pretty common for guising. It's the mask on her face that's the scariest. The utter white, small eye hold mask is reminiscent of Michael Myers' mask to an extent, although clearly predated Michael Myers. It's lacking detail, it's simple, and it feels soulless. There's no emotion on the face, despite how it resembles a human face in every way. All right, there we have it. Friends, which of these master costumes spooks you at the most? Give us a share in those comments below and let us know. If you dug this video, spread the love, hit that like button, and be sure to subscribe to Top 5 Scary Stories for more videos just like this one. In the meantime, though, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you all in the next video.